Hi guys, so a few days ago the Labour Party kicked Ken Loach, filmmaker, socialist and long-term ally of Jeremy Corbyn, out of the party. Ken left the party when Tony Blair took over back in the 1990s and then remained a non-member until Jeremy Corbyn won the leadership. Ken is a filmmaker and passionate socialist, but what I want to talk about in this video is less about Ken and more about why Keir Starmer is going to war with the left of the party. Starmer has said recently that he wants to wipe anti-Semitism out of the Labour Party, and while people like Ken Roach haven't been linked directly to anti-Semitism from what I've seen, he along with the former leader Jeremy Corbyn have had a difficult time distancing themselves from individuals in the Labour Party that are pro-Palestinian to the extent that they're seen by some as being anti-Semitic. If Starmer is doing what some believe and kicking the pro-Corbyn people out of the party for alleged anti-Semitism or some other reason, then in my opinion he's attempting to achieve a number of things. Firstly, Starmer knows the difference between voters and supporters. Voters are what win you elections, not supporters. Now don't get me wrong, you need to have people on board supporting your goals and objectives. You need the people to canvas, knock on doors, attend rallies. You need people encouraging voters to come out and cast their ballot for you. However, supporters will always vote for the party. You don't need to convince them to vote for you. I think Starmer knows this, so while it's important to have people on side within the party, you mustn't forget that the big rallies and massive support within the party does not translate into votes. This is something Labour discovered in the early hours following the election back in 2019. There was massive support for Corbyn on the streets, but that was amongst people who had planned to vote for him. That support started to dry up when traditional Labour voters were asked about the leader. Stommer also knows that he can't make peace with his enemies within the party, so the solution is to sideline them. Now, this of course carries great risk. As I said before, these people are supporters of the party, they will turn out and vote for Labour because that's what they always do. However, turn off enough of them and you will create a split within the party. Your enemies, if pushed hard enough, may decide to punish you, not the Tories, at the ballot box. By not turning out or by actively supporting another left-wing party. At the moment, I don't see this happening though, but it could change. Another risk with fighting with your opponents within the party is that it can harm fundraising. Now, unfortunately, political parties are not publicly funded, so they need to collect donations. By driving a wedge between himself and the left of the party, he risks pissing off individual donors or the trade unions, which are an important part of Labour's financing. This forces you to find money elsewhere and sends you in the arms of millionaires or companies who will see their donation as an investment for the future that needs to be paid back in some way. It potentially also drives a deeper wedge between Starmer and the left within the party who will see it as selling out to corporate interests. Stormer may be attempting to rebrand the party in his own image. He may see Corbyn's legacy as a drain on him and something that is still turning off many voters. It must be remembered that the general public are not really interested in politics. They are less interested in policy and will vote for those who have the right personality or the catchiest slogans. Sir Keir needs to come up with a vision for the party if he is to win the next election. If he is to win, he needs to show that he's not continuing with Corbynism, but setting out a new stall. There's a lot of talk recently about the resurrection of Blairism, but while older voters may view it in perhaps a nostalgic way, it's not the way forward for Starmer. He needs to take control of the party and define it according to his own ideals, his own vision. It can't be the case of someone else, perhaps those on the left for example, defining the party for him. In order to do so, he needs to kick those who threaten his position out or put them in a position of impotence. Let me be honest here, I don't know if he's capable of doing this or if it will work. But I think a shift from internal power within the Labour Party to external power, that of voter support, perhaps is the right road to take. I tend to overestimate the abilities of politicians. I see Machiavellian tendencies when perhaps it's just strange incompetence. We must remember though that Keir Starmer is not Jeremy Corbyn, but he's also not Tony Blair. Let me know in the comment section guys what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.
I want to say a big, big thank you to all of my patrons. You ensure that this channel continues to exist. I'm eternally grateful for all of your support. If you join Patreon, you will receive instant access to our Discord server, where we have both audio and video chats. You can chat with me and other patrons, where we discuss important and non-important issues. Becoming a patron per month costs about the same as a large coffee. So why not check it out?